factors. Let's embark on this exciting journey together as we unlock the potential of ABAP 7.4 and 7.5 and the new select statement. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with the latest content from Namaste SAP. Without further ado, let's drive right into the world of ABAP 7.4 syntax and the incredible capabilities of the new select statement. Get ready to elevate your SAP programming skills and join me in discovering the magic of this powerful tool. So this is the inline declaration. Select from database into the internal table where we would be using the latest ABAP 7.4 syntaxes. So how it used to be earlier before 7.4, it is something like this, like select uh, the following fields from the database table into table where weblin is equal to as weblin as weblin is the variable. Okay, that now how are we using it? Like this. So here into table ITBVAP earlier we have to declare that IT underscore VBAP onto the header area, right? We have to do additional data declaration ITVBAP type table of VBAP. Okay. But with the advancement of inline declaration, we don't have to do because in with the inline declaration ITVBAP underscore inline, this internal table will get created at runtime. Okay. You will also notice that there is an at the rate symbol that we are using. This is basically an escape operator. Okay. It helps the ABAP compiler to understand that these variables are not referencing to the fields in the database tables. Okay. Otherwise, if you don't specify at the rate, it would give you an error. Okay. Because ABAP compiler will think that uh, S underscore VBLN or IT VBAP inline are the fields of VBAP table only, the database table. If you are using an at the rate operator, basically an escape operator, which you can tell, okay, it would actually bypass. It would make these variables that they are not referencing to the field of database table but the variables of the program let's see in action guys welcome back today in this video we will be learning about the select statement see before uh, 7.4 release uh, that is the old syntax that we were using for the select but there is a change in the select statement with uh, 7.4 and 7.5 okay today we would be discussing on that topic only so before moving on to the 7.4 syntax for select let me just brief you a bit on the old syntax that we are currently using okay so but thereafter you will be able to understand what benefits or advantages that we are getting by using the new syntax okay this is the old syntax that i am writing currently so we used to do some data declaration on the top. Suppose IPVB AP type table of VBAP. So in, we will be selecting data from VBAP table, okay, and put the data into the internal table IP VBAP. So select start from VB AP into table IT VB AP where equivalent equals to let me hard code a weblen value over here or suppose let me declare over here SVP ELM type this is just a data declaration. Okay. Let me check the weblen value. PC. VBAP VBELA. Okay value we are just hard coding as of now you will be passing this weblen over here okay let's start from vbap this is the database table name into table 
it bbap okay where wavelength equal to s wavelength let me scale underscore provide an output to it output equals to display is where it is telling unknown column name v b e l n okay there is typo over here this cl underscore demo underscore output yeah that is corrected let me activate it. Okay. It seems there is no record with respect to this. Okay. Let me put some other record. Yeah, two records are coming, right? It fetches all the column. From the database table okay and uh, there is another way what we used to do suppose if you wanted to let me write it to show a particular column suppose all these columns i wanted to display right so what we used to do we used to write those columns name if you want to be very specific that i wanted to show webland pause now mat now Okay. These are the columns like that I wanted to display. Then what can we do? We have to prepare the internal table like this only. Then for that we have to prepare a structure. This is a local structure, py types. I'm just giving you a little bit of brief about the old syntax that we were using. Thereafter, we will be quickly moving up on to the latest that is 7.4 and 5 syntax. Okay. So now we have uh, we you what we if you are selecting only these particular fields data from the database table and wanted to put up in the internal table earlier we used to define some kind of a structure like st underscore local structure underscore local okay then we used to define all these fields over here I'm just copying it and pasting it trying to be a bit fast type. And we have to specify VBAP with the data type. Put a comma over here. Yeah. We will use this too. Okay. Okay. Thereafter, end as end of ST local. Okay. Now, this IP VBAP type table of vbap no we would be replace it with st local why because if you are putting a vbap over here it would uh, display all the columns but we are fetching only this few columns from the database table okay so it is not required the it would uh, make unnecessary load on the memory okay so we are fetching one two three four and five columns and uh, putting it to the internal table this internal table is taking reference to the local structures Remember, structure is just a skeleton. It does not hold value. Internal table at runtime that we are creating holds value only at runtime since it is taking a reference to the structure, the template, okay, that we are creating. And yeah, let us activate it. Getting some error. Uh, VP. Okay, two times I have written. Let me delete it. Yeah. 
yeah hope it would work let's activate it yes the blink was now met no met work earlier if you would have noticed that when we were using vbap internal table referencing vbap it was showing me all the list of columns in the internal table okay now this is with the old approach now quickly coming to the latest approach with above 7.4 and 7.5 syntaxes okay so see how it is making our life much more easier with this so in order to fetch the data suppose from this internal uh, from this database table vbap we don't have to declare a local structure okay neither an internal table for this okay we can directly fetch the data from the database table and by creating the internal table at uh, runtime okay let's see how it works there is a small operator which is very much important that is a escape operator that is an add the red symbol over here which we would be using over so let's copy this simply okay so select let us first fetch all the columns okay case 1 this is a case 1 i am trying fetching okay. all the columns from the table so select star from vbap into table it vbap where wiblin equals to s7 so if you wanted to convert this into the inline declaration so what will you do so the first thing you have to put a escape operator that is an add the rate okay since you are fetching the data from the database table and you are putting it where this internal table you have followed by an escape operator that is an add the rate symbol okay same thing you have to put it over here as well so whatever variables that you are passing on to the where condition of the select query or whatever internal tables that you are having it always have to be an add the rate operator at the beginning okay now another thing that you have to add it that is we would be changing this internal table name okay this it vbap inline because it vbap we have already declared it for our old syntax right now we have we are creating an internal table that is it vbap underscore inline now we have to use data i at the rate data then the internal table name this is the internal table name internal table getting created at run time okay and this is at the rate so when we are creating an internal table in line make sure we would be using at the rate data to it and when all the variables that would be passed in where condition okay those should be followed with a at the rate symbol that's it that's it you don't have to do anything okay now let us try to activate it no error let us again it okay yeah activate it okay let me comment this first otherwise it's let me comment this as we be in okay we have commented this to let us activate it and execute it see it has fetches all the data from the database table okay since we have used add the rate symbol and the internal table name itbbp is showing over here okay this is the first case when you you have a requirement to fetch select star from the database table you can fetch simply like this okay now there are cases which i have showed you like if you have to select only four columns and only the four fields from the database table what will you be doing you will simply just remove the star and assign those fields v b e l n then posna then matner then 
MAPWA. Okay. This is the second case. has specific columns from database table okay. now I'm just commenting this in case 2 we will be fetching specific columns that is weblen posner matna matwa from vbap and this so everything is correct right now if i try to check and activate it i will be getting an error let me show you see what it is telling if host variable are escaped using at the rate new open sql must use throughout this includes using comma as separate separators for the list element so it is asking me to use comma for all the specific columns that i am been fetching from the database so i am fetching weblen we have to put a comma over here pause now and mat now okay then try to activate earlier it was not try actually identifying whom to select okay so since we are fetching specific elements from the database table it has to be followed by a comma once you are writing it just everything is fine let's check and activate yeah see only four columns are been fetched weblen posner matner mat wa okay so posner is 003 and 004 okay right so this is the second case which is done uh, coming to the third case third case is what when suppose there are cases when we wanted to alias this fields name that we are fetching from the database suppose we wanted to write all the description of it suppose weblen let me show you like suppose weblen can be written something as sales underscore document posner can be written as sales underscore document item matner as material number matw as material entered okay likewise then how can we do so how to give an alias for an column names so again we will be copying the same thing okay and paste it over here so now what we will be doing in order to put an alias we have to simply use as this thing you have to use as keyword okay and you have to give a name like sales underscore doc similarly for posner sales underscore doc underscore item for matner you can give as material number material number and let matwa as it is okay let me activate it. See sales underscore docs, all the columns names which earlier was taking the field name which is mentioned in my database table. Now the alias names are coming over here sales underscore docs, sales doc, item material number, and MATWA, which is the same. We have not changed it, right? This is the second thing. If you wanted to change the column name, you can do this okay by using an alias concept this is the third case okay coming up to the next case that is fourth one is there are cases guys when we wanted to do some kind of a, a if statement like thing like if uh, suppose there is a 
suppose for the case we are selecting the data from the vbap database table okay so suppose there is a pause now that is uh, 3 0 0 okay and uh, we wanted to uh, have another field in this internal table suppose uh, status okay so i wanted to show if posner is 3 i want the status column to be a if posner value is 004 i wanted the status column to be b dynamically i would not be using any loop after a select statement or any other if case cases after the select statement okay in one go i wanted to fetch the data and uh, do the respective operation in the select statement only this is provided in this above 7.4 syntax okay let me show you how how can we do this using the case statement perform some operation so how it can be done so as i have mentioned you i am selecting weblen this posner this so my condition was if my posner value is 0003 right then i want there is a uh, there i would be adding another column called status and in the status i would need to i would be populating a but the a value a that value a will comes only when my posner is 0003 okay so how to write that so it is quite simple guys see we have to simply use case over here okay case thereafter put an statement sorry enter then write when posner okay when your posner is to suppose 0, 0, 0,003 then we wanted to print a then suppose we can write something like a but suppose we are writing third PHIRT. If it is three, then we are writing third. Okay. Otherwise, when Posner is suppose four, we can write here suppose four. So this is what this here we are just applying the condition if it is 3 then we are making that column value as third if the posner value is 0004 we are making the column value as fourth okay but what is the column name we have not specified it over here right so we need to specify the column name then we can specify like end as end as status as i told you in the status column i wanted the following text depending upon the condition what posner value is holding okay so likewise so these are auto generated when when other end case just deleting we don't require okay and put a comma over here simply yeah let's try to activate yeah so before getting activated now how many columns are you expected yeah correct we will be seeing one two this is three four and five columns will get populated okay and the third column will be the status and depending upon the value it would print third and four let me see how see the status column is showing third and four depending upon the value of posner cell order cell document title this you can perform using the 7.4 above syntax okay this is a very very important thing you can leverage this statement very well okay another thing that that you can use to perform some kind of operation see this is a static one right like if it is third i am putting some text over here if it is this we are putting some static text but uh, thing for cases where we wanted to change the value itself 
suppose from the database table you are getting uh, there is a field called uh, network okay netwr right so whatever the value is we wanted to increment that value to 1000 and put it into a fourth column okay can we do so let me show you in vbap if you go down there is a column called c netwr okay net value of the order item so my question is i have a requirement like the business told me that if whatever net netwr net value is present with respect to any sale order right document okay we wanted to get that incremented by 1000 okay and put it in a fourth column right but for that we may achieve this now also what we will be doing we will be using the old syntax we will be putting it in our internal table and again we will be looping over that internal table and thereafter we will take a work area and from that work area we would assign to another work area and append the final value to the final internal table all these lines of code we have to write in order to perform that so let's see how we can do this thing only using the same select statement let me copy this. This is the fifth case. I'm not taking the pause now. Let it be as it is. So I'm adding an additional field called box. Do A E R K, I believe. And uh, NEPWR. Okay. Let's first activate this and execute it. So we can check uh, that INR, it is an INR value, and the value is uh, something 4 lakh 66,000, uh, 6, right? And likewise, so what we can do. do something like this like when let me add a final status column okay so case when this w a e r k this is the unit is inr when this is inr okay then This NETWR value should be incremented by 1000 directly and put it in this column to end as final value underscore value. So that's it. That's it. You don't have to do anything. Let's activate and execute. See. See, we have incremented the value by 1000 right this is four lakh six thousand now it is four lakh seven thousand thirty one lakh uh ninety thousand it is thirty one lakh ninety one thousand it is increment by thousand based upon the condition that the w e r k value is inr if it is some other value it would go as it is okay let me remove this let me let me let me see if I'm not passing any where condition over here. Let me fix this all the value. Is okay, but there is no value. Okay, yeah. Yes, all the values have been fetched. Okay, what we can do, oh, since uh, I have put it the condition on INR and all the um, all the records of these fields, INR, it is INR only, no other, so I am not able to distinguish it. So let us put the condition on sale order, okay. Suppose it on 003, I am putting, if it is 003, then only it would be incremented by this. If Posner value is 003.
That's it. C. Only for the Posner value, which is 0, 0, 003, the my final value is getting computed. Rest it would be 0, 0, 0 only. Okay. And uh, what I am doing when it is Posner value 0, 0, 003, I am incrementing the entity WR value to 1000, making it this change, and rest will become 0, 0, 0 only. So there is again, there is a third. Okay. See, only for the third Posner value 0, 0, 003, this is getting computed. This is the beauty of this select. So I believe I have covered all the cases that may happen. Okay. With the select here, you we are using an equal to where operator. Okay. We can perform some kind of uh, arithmetic operation as well, like addition or if it positive value is greater than this or less than this. Okay. You can perform those cases as well. So in all these cases, we have uh, taken an internal table for consideration by fetching the data and putting into an internal table. Let's say we wanted to populate this data into a work area. We would be getting a single data support. Okay. So how can we do that? So coming to the next, that is the sixth case. So I'll be copying. I'll be copying this only. Oops. And I'm selecting this data. Selecting the blend Posner. There's a case that I've added. Suppose a material number from the BAP into data not the table if i'm putting into a work area i would be putting into a work area it's a work area suppose this would also get created at the runtime but for this only difference is you might be aware of this we should not we would not be using a table for for work area only for internal table we are using the table after n2 right so let us activate it so, okay it is giving me an error see this I wanted to show. He before the end of program, select and end select is must. Okay, we must use and put an exit and an end exit. It yes. Let us activate. Okay, it is activated. Let us put the data. See. We are getting a single line item okay we are getting a single line item for this this is how we can deal with a work area okay. work area inline declaration there are also cases guys suppose in this case only we are hard coding this 0003 over here right so what if i am Getting a Posner over here, type BBAP Posner. Okay, value is this 0003. Okay, value is 0003. And so, how will you assign it to this? How will you assign? We will be doing something like this, right? Directly putting this variable into this when Posner is equal to L Posner, L Posner consists of this 0003 value, but it would give you an error. See, unknown column name L Posner until runtime, you cannot specify a fill list. This is the error you will be getting. Okay. So why are you getting this error? Definitely it is the above compiler is not able to identify what this L Posner is. Then you will have to use something like this at the rate okay this is the escape operator okay so it identifies okay this is a variable that has been passed from this program okay this is l posner is not something related to the vbap column okay vbap column list so it is trying to think like this is also filled a fill component of the element of this vbap only that's why it was giving you an error 
okay in order to distinguish i was telling you previously also that we have to use an escape operator since it is a variable right we are pausing passing it from over here as 003 let us activate it and execute it see i hope i am clear guys okay that's all for today's video guys thank you